All right, this is how you're going to print if you're printing vertical. Uh, vertical is this way, up and down. So your short end is across the bottom and your taller sides of your houses are on the, on the side. Uh, first of all, some of you have your house in color, so you want to make sure that you uncolor it. Um, if you click this box down here, and you want, yours probably says realistic, you want to make sure it says hidden line. All right, so just click on hidden line. If you have a roof on here, you need to hide your roof. If you're not sure how to hide your roof, go and grab the, the tutorial packet that you went through when you did your classroom, and there's directions in there on how to hide your roof. So now we need to put this on paper, or Revit calls them sheets. So underneath your project browser, you'll see this sheets all. Okay, you want to right click on it and go to new sheet. Now, you're only going to have one in here. I already have them because I've done these already. So you're only going to have one in here and it's not going to be the one you want. You're going to have this E. So you have to come up here to load and click on computer and double click on the GTT drive G. Then you're going to go to Revit and you're going to click on, you're doing vertical, so you're going to click on the vertical one. Double click that, or click it, and then hit open. I'm going to hit cancel because mine's already there. Does it usually stop? So then it should be, it should highlight your vertical title block, and then you're going to hit OK. Now your house disappears and you have your sheet on here that's ver it's a vertical one. And you're going to scroll up under your project browser, scroll up till you see floor level one. Left click and you're going to drag it. And I know I'm dragging because I have the arrows, the cross arrows with a plus. So I'm holding down my left mouse till I get over here. When I get here, I'm going to click again and then there's my house. And now I can drag it onto my paper. So this is my floor level one. If this is not the right size, and mine already is set to there, yours probably loads to a fourth of an inch. You can see that that's too big. It overlaps my paper and it goes down here to my word, so you need to make it smaller. So under this, under your properties, the view scale, you're going to change it, and mine works best at three sixteenths of an inch, and then click apply. And then just drag it where it needs to be. You can use the arrows to move your sheet up a little bit. Scroll out and then click outside this black line. And then when you go back to your sheet, these words on the bottom turn blue. If you click in there, you can change, highlight them, and change the what they say. So this one's gonna. This is our floor view. And then under the unnamed part, go ahead and put in your name. Okay. Now you're ready to print, so come up here to the R. And under print, hit the black arrow over. You want to go to page setup first. We have to change the way our page is set up. Right now it's set up to portrait. Actually, I think yours is set to landscape. You want to change it, make sure it says portrait on there. And hit OK. See if it loaded. Go back to your R, hit the print, hit print preview, and now you can see your your page is portrait as long as well as the sheet that you loaded. So they all line up and match. Hit print. Make sure your printer name is MSDC2 MSPLTW, and then hit OK. All right, now we finished our 3D our. Uh, floor level one view. Now we need to switch to our 3D view. So go back to your project browser and underneath sheets you're going to hit the plus next to that. This is a sheet that we just loaded and here's what's on the sheet. So hit the plus next to that. We want to get rid of our floor level one. So right click and remove from sheet. Now we need to put our floor our 3D view on there. So come back up here to 3D view. Yours probably looks like this. Hit the plus next to it. You just want this plain 3D. So left click and drag. 
So left click and drag, hold down your left click button, drag it over here, click when it's on the screen, and then you can move it over. This really fits pretty good on here, so I'm not going to change my size. Again, click outside of it so it deactivates it. This line's okay. You want to change this to, it's not our floor view anymore, it's our 3D view. It should still say your name in there, and that's fine. Come up here to the R, hit print. You shouldn't have to do your page setup because you've already done that. Go to preview and you'll see that it looks right. If your paper is laying the other direction, then you need to fix it and change it to uh, portrait. If it looks good, it says your name and that it's 3D view, then go ahead and hit print. Again, make sure it says that printer and hit OK.